Uh, thanks for listening, and it's a great honor to stand here uh, for sharing. Uh, my name is Qing Hao Tang, uh, security research from Qihu 6. So, in last May, um, since the rush of women will be the uh, last large numbers of public cloud vendors have been deeply affected. After a systematic analysis, I was interested in this vulnerability uh, because it's, uh, and uh, I wonder that if uh, this kind of vulnerability can be found in numbers at one time. So I start my research. Uh, Besides the uh, start, start sharing, let me introduce my team. CO6 Cloud Marvel team is the uh, first uh, professional cloud computing virtualization security team in China. My team are focusing on research, researching about uh, te techniques of attack and uh, defense in mainstream virtualization system. Uh, recently, we, were, we have uh, gained significant achievements in neutralization fuzzing framework, gas machine scape technology, and have weather vulnerability defense product. Today, I would like to share the following research, uh, research means with your guys. The theoretic, uh, theoretical foundation and the details of neutralization system fuzzing framework and its uh, running process and uh, key, pro um, key problems we faced and uh, how I solved with them at last. And uh, later I will also show two cases uh, which contains more details of uh, uh, hardware device simulators vulnerability discovery technology. <laughs> and uh, I hope I could bring new thoughts to you guys and uh, help you discover more and more vulnerabilities in uh, utilization system and the cloud computing system. Uh, we want to think it will make cloud computing more secure. And on the other hand, uh, I hope more researchers can uh, go to this work. And beginning, let's talk about, about, uh, about cloud computing and it's brand new. Attack surface. Along, along with years of development, uh, cloud computing has been turned from sim simple conceptions to specific productions. Especially, uh, cloud computing is playing more important role in uh, enterprise framework, such as uh, photos, emails, audio, and uh, communication content related to individual privacy, uh, <clears throat> website code and the database information related to business, as well as data of governments, commuting data and uh, military use. Above all, these data are stored, stored and utilized in cloud. Cloud can be divided into private cloud and uh, public cloud. Famous pub public cloud service provided such as Amazon, AliCloud, and uh, uh, they, they provide enterprise and live services. According to private cloud, uh, they are deployed with internet network of enterprise used for uh, storing core data. Virtualization techniques place a uh, Vital role in realizing cloud computing conception. It can allocate physical resources uh, dynamically and uh, flexibly. The main virtualization system include the KVM and uh, VMware. The VMware uh, product series are mostly used in private, private cloud environment because of its strength in product maturity. Uh, Verizon and uh, KVM products can popular, are popular in the public cloud solution. Uh, we could see that virtualization products are still in procedure of uh, development. There are mainly two uh, development trends, net, netest uh, virtualization and uh, the uh, tiny hypervisor. 
However, it's really hard to say one uh, of it, which one now, if both two trains can turn to be the uh, main directions, uh, it may uh, need more time to uh, reach the conclusion. Servers applied with virtualization techno technology are completely different from common servers. One or more virtual machine can operate in the virtualization servers. Additionally, uh, all this virtual machine can work independently. Most of the functions are provided by physical devices which are necessary in virtual machine operation, such as CPU, MMU, uh, adapters, and the keyboard. They are provided in utilization system as software services. Hard or uh, even or physical hardware functions can be virtualized. We can see that it's really amazing and uh, advanced. However, maybe we are facing big security risks uh, when we do this. Before this revolution of cloud computing, hackers always attack physical servers. However, recently, hackers would rather, uh, rarely, uh, would rather directly uh, attack virtualization system. They slurp into guest machine and uh, launch attack to server and the core network. We call this kind of attack as uh, virtual machine escape. Virtual machine escape is the uh, most dangerous and uh, brand new attack in cloud computing environment. There are three steps for launching virtual machine escape attack. Firstly, entering virtual machine environment by running cloud servers or through web attack. Then, uh, making sure the types and the version of the virtualization system by collecting information in the gas machine. Finally, com completely, complete the attack by utilizing vulnerabilities exploit tool. And they can control the host machine. As a, as a result, the attack can execute malicious code in host machine by using virtualization system API control other virtual machines or penetrate the internet. We can clearly see that hackers heavily rely on uh, vulnerabilities during the process of launching the get the machine escape tag. So whether or not uh, there contains a big amount of vulnerabilities in virtualization system, after analysis, I believe that hardware device simulators can be used as an attack service. So uh, what's the, uh, the operation principles of device emulators? I will take network car emulator as an example. Net network car uh, data packet transfer tran transferred from virtual machine to internet. Its proced procedure is the one typical inside out data flow. Uh, several secure risks will happen there dealing with this procedure. The whole procedure include, includes five steps. Sending out network data packet by using sockets and functions inside the user space of guest machine. Later on, the system of Follows will step into kernel space and set of kernel components re related to uh, TCP. Insert this de decisional and the third part info into network packets. After that, uh, the set of uh, kernel components related to IP insert, destination address, and the third address uh, into network packet. After that, data packets enter into device driver components. Then, following two 
network car emulator and adapter of virtualization system. Uh, finally, data pack packet enter into physical network car through host and be sent into network internet. From the above steps, uh, it's clear to say that uh, data packets will be uh, added additional info uh, after every step. Uh, we, we are inspired by this situation during discovery vulnerabilities. We take advantage of this pr process to alter the data which enter into device simulators. And this, this will help us to determine its ropeness. Why we say that hardware device simulator is an attack surface worthy of concern? First, uh, there are different kinds of uh, hardware device simulators. For example, in uh, Cumul, there are more than 30 device simulators and um, more than 20 in VMware. Serious problem. Uh, second, this emulator connect guest machine and the host machine. Third, we could add emulator's code inside of those components' memory. Then execute the code. This will lead to really dangerous uh, vulnerabilities. Before proceeding further, let me go through the difference between vulnerability discovery in hardware device simulators and uh, traditional targets. Let me uh, make a compa comparison to explain it. Normal vulnerability discovery aims at user level software such as AI, Flash, and Nginx, or driver components in kernel space. A uh, well virtual uh, vulnerabilities fuzzing mostly target at hardware device simulators with physical device functions like uh, network car uh, emulators, keyboard emulators, and so on. A second, uh, testing way seems more particular in uh, virtualization fuzzing framework. For instance, a uh, web page can be used for IE fuzzing. A remote net network packet can be used for Nginx server fuzzing. Our control function core can be used for uh, driver, driver's fuzzing. However, we can't even use any of this data in hardware device simulator fuzzing. Uh, during the process of developing and using this fuzzing network, we found more than um, 20 security vulnerabilities. Here are the part of CV list, CV IDs for uh, those vulnerabilities we have uh, made public. So I'm confident with the fuzzing framework can work efficiently in discovering hardware uh, device emulators. As I mentioned, as I mentioned above, heavily used cloud systems hardly can be seen as secure. Compared to traditional IT frameworks, virtual machine escape is a new kind of attack method. According to the Attack method, I designed a set of semi automatic fuzzing framework which relies uh, both discovery vulnerabilities in device simulators or virtualization system. I will start my discussion in the following parts about the operation principles and uh, implementation details of the fuzzing framework. Before that, we are studying more details, we need to know that as a testing project for virtualization system, the attack surface we focus on is hardware device simulators. We have finished testing work to several components within QMU and uh, WinWorkStation and uh, found 
25, uh, security vulnerabilities until now. Uh, the biggest challenge we faced uh, is that it's hard to test uh, the target components of the bottom layer. Then let's say so what's the best way for testing in uh, hardware device monitors. At first, it's necessary to analyze the data which be sent to the components and is a process of generating and transform. Second, set out the test data to target modules according to the devices which could be um, tested through gas machine data flow. We have two ways to construct testing data. The detail, the detail process are one way is to alter the content and uh, order of the data transmission transmitted between the drive modules in kernel space at system runtime. Another way to modify the, the in initial state values of those device uh, emulators while the system is static. About devices which can be not be tested directly. Uh, testing data must be determined and limited by uh, modules from more than one layer at first. Third, recording all of tiny abnormal activities which uh, the hardware device simulators are dealing with testing data. First, uh, in, view, in view of uh, those of normal activities, filing and trace that cause the issues, and uh, in the end, optimize the filing framework by the log and the other uh, percent, percent data. When I start, start working on the project, I have already considered the about is flexibly and uh, um, compatibly. For example, uh, utilizing modular way to uh, realize several functions like testing, monitoring, analyzing, and uh, we also make sure our testing framework could run in uh, multiple virtualization systems like VMware, Workstation, Cumul, and uh, Cumul in the Zen. During the de development process, I use Linux as a gas machine operation system. I'm Python to realize data transmission between the, uh, the three power and uh, manager gas machine operation. You see language to uh, imply Linux driver components in gas machine and uh, uh, channel was deployed to storage format for test testing data template storage. Uh, while uh, enhancing the capability, we want to make sure that uh, unification uh, between funding framework and the testing data of uh, specific target. Therefore, we need to uh, optimize our funding work according to the different targets. Uh, this will need us to consider language we use, develop environment, even code coding style, while uh, developing hardware device emulators. Uh, for instance, uh, for uh, VMware series, series software, uh, developers um, pay more attention to the dream conditions. When a uh, abnormal situation occurs, the uh, uh, main method for exception handling is directly ex exiting the software. According to Cumul, less dream conditions are processed in devices I mean, later and the coding styles are uh, various. As shown in the figure, we, you could clearly see each uh, component and their uh, data flows. We I divide, I divided the framework into three parts. The host machine, the virtual machine, and the control center. 
and uh, all the three components are running in every part. We call it we call the uh, monitor, client, and the server. Every part consists of uh, a number of functional uh, modules. Server, which is uh, inserting control center, uh, it, it uh, contains test case, template data, database, log database, and uh, log analysis module. Client is installed in a uh, virtual machine. Client contains the devices simulator, analysis module, system hook module, and uh, testing data log module. Monitor is installed in a uh, host machine, and it, it contains hardware instrument module. In addition, a log record module and a data communicating module are in every part. Let's talk about a uh, server. The server programs are running in controlling center server. Three programs work semi-automatically by uh, control the whole testing processes and uh, collect data of every above steps. A security engineer's duty and uh, analyze testing results uh, and uh, optimi optimize uh, testing data modules. Here are some uh, noteworthy function points. The first one is that uh, some vulnerabilities will cause uh, crash of hot machines. Uh, therefore, we need to pay attention to timeout happen and uh, recovering the tight environment of virtual, mach virtual machine timely. And uh, the last one is uh, that maintaining the tight data and uh, related logs in higher. Uh, these modules uh, will work as the uh, following, following uh, sequences. At the beginning, uh, setting up network and uh, uh, hardware environment, launch server, client, and monitor. After that, client will allow system hook module uh, get all of the device simulator's basic information. Then, client Client will ask server for testing data of emulators. Server will send out the required data. Client received and uh, loaded the testing data, the uh, launching test. At the same time, monitor will con continually check the have other working and uh, re record down logs. After about steps, uh, the testing client finish, and the uh, client will notify the server. And the uh, server will get logs from client and monitor, save them into database. Then, server will launch log and analyze module, determine if uh, anything wrong happened, and notify the Security engineer, when in the end, security engineer uh, will analyze program exceptions, optimize the final framework. Client pro um, program is running in the virtual machine, and the main uh, function of this program is to get hard virtualization component information. The operation principle of client is uh, emulating the device manager of Windows. And the uh, index of the related information of hardware uh, emula device emulators, including device, device name, uh, accessible, accessible memories, and ports. All this information are determined by the driver module while gas machine operation system starting. And in Linux, uh, this info are uh, storing files, and uh, we can use the uh, SPCI command to get. 
However, uh, there are several levels had, uh, of hardware device simulators. We could only uh, say the top level uh, in device manager. And client program will use the test data from our control center. Test data contains access entry of the technical components, receive data structure, and the restrictions set from its component to field of data structure. First, uh, ta target components received info from virtual machine through airport and our memory. Second, different uh, target component fit different data structures. And later, uh, I will analyze two kinds of network cards, which are E1000 and uh, uh, PC9. It's clear to see that different network card, their data structure are totally different. So, same kinds of hardware device simulators play similar roles in different virtual machine. Meanwhile, a uh, field restrictions of this structure in VMware and uh, QML are different. We need to define two sets of limited range uh, for a related field. Sending out testing data to um, target components is already similar process. The first step is that a user layer of client uh, generated testing data sends requests to client kernel according to uh, specified operations uh, from data. The second step is that client kernel applies for memory according to the request, fills out memory, and sends out memory information to specified parts. And uh, uh, as, we, uh, as we can see, the main functions of client program are getting target components, generating testing data, sending test data. Additionally, uh, sends logs to server of controlling centering time. Now let's move to a monitoring host machine. Model program realize functions as follows. The fourth one, um, managing virtual machines like uh, snapshot management, power management of gas machine, features management of virtual machines. Uh, the second one, dynamically debugging the running process of gas machine, such as debugging of launching gas machine landing the debugging scripts, record debugging info. Third one, uh, keeping, keeping a record of gas machines running process include a recording running process of uh, user layer and the drive module of kernel space. There are other things monitor will do here. When testing QML, we can set up guest machine hardware device simulators by modifying software permits. And uh, we can modify the QML source codes for re recording the process. Uh, when testing a uh, memory workstation, we can, we can manage virtual machine hardware device by modifying configuration files. The debugging method is that use Win debug program to load main process of VMware workstation and then load the debug debugging script for recording running process of virtual machines. That symbol will cost three responses. A uh, custom machine operation system crash virtualization system crash and uh, invisible results. Gas machine operating system crash happens uh, when there are issues in driver modules because of the system adaption issue. 
and uh, this uh, won't help us a lot. We pay more attention to gas machines, crash, and uh, uh, invisible results. Usually, we will find vulnerabilities uh, by analyzing them. For gas machine system crash, it's more obvious to be detected, and uh, it's often caused by serious vulnerabilities, which are triggering vulnerability system, neutralization system, uh, such as heavy overflow, double free, or use after free, and so on. And the uh, invisible results only can be recorded by analyzing gas system loss. Uh, in monitor program, we need to use advanced bugging skills uh, to help security engineers to find new security issues. Autom automatically uh, recording details of what machine running especially changes of key values and it's really necessary. Based on the record, we can estimate whether there exists information leakage or other logic vulnerabilities or some other vulnerabilities. The instrument te te techniques vary based on if there exists symbolic information or source code in system we test. As for software without source code or uh, symbolic information, like uh, just like the Venmo station, we uh, adopt another uh, method to implement instrumentation techniques. At first, uh, we, we reverse the software information uh, location, the key code, uh, and uh, uh, variables. Then we insert breakpoint to critical point when writing the debug, um, debug plugins. At the beginning, when we uh, use this framework, we got many crashes uh, in short time. However, after digging out relatively simple vulnerabilities, how we gonna find with more complex issues. At that time, we thought uh, that we need to optimize the filing framework. Because of our method of virtualization vulnerabilities discovery by uh, filing heavily rely on accuracy and uh, diversity of testing symbols, and uh, in most of cases, Accuracy and diversity of symbols are contradict with, with each other. So we may need massive symbols and testing results uh, in detail to optimize testing data generators. Especially the coverage area of target code recording monitor logs. And the testing record can help us optimize the testing data. By analyzing the client, client loss, we could decrease invalid combination during the testing data generation. By analyzing uh, several, uh, by analyzing server logs, gathering, gathering and uh, analyzing testing parameter and the crash parameters of uh, uh, data templates. And uh, however, uh, we need to note that the danger of hardware device simulator vulnerabilities is uh, are limited. Proce process uh, memory permission in host will determine the effect of vulnerability exploitation. In the permission, uh, if the permission is not enough, not many exploitation operation can be deployed, then we may need permission escalation uh, by using other abilities. And uh, uh, we could see that this testing project will focus on testing 
more kinds of virtualization systems in the future, uh, such as Hyper-V and VMware. Uh, we will also add more tag services, uh, filing functions. More efficient filing modules have been added in the uh, virtualization filing framework. For example, uh, have a core and what have a core and uh, the guest machine client. We believe that the framework will help us find uh, more vulnerabilities in the future. And uh, when the filing framework can carry basis uh, virtualization system attack surface and the multi member can use this filing framework and find more than 50 vulnerabilities, I will make the uh, framework become an open source project. And now I will show you two cases about how hardware uh, device simulators working on working and uh, uh, vulnerabilities with, within the uh, these two components rely functions of network car. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, the packet in guest machine get into host machine. The access internet through host physical network car by helping with uh, this network car emulator. Now let's pay attention to the operating uh, operating principle of a uh, gigabit network car emulator. In the first place, the uh, operating system selects corresponding driver according to the type of network car when it starts. Uh, the drivers will distribute I/O ports, uh, map memory address, initialize a uh, device data, and allocate memory resources for descriptor table. After the operation system ta uh, started, while the data is being sent, uh, the network, um, network packet will enter into device driver components. Afterward, uh, driver, device driver components will insert data into the descriptor and set the TDT register of network car to be true. When the gigabit network car um, detects that TDT register has been resigned and it, it will process the descriptor table. There are three uh, steps of uh, descriptor in descriptor table. Uh, there are contents descriptor, uh, data descriptor, and uh, legacy descriptor. According to the descriptor location and uh, content, content, a gigabit network card will extract uh, the network card info and send it to a virtual device adapter after which the TDT register will be set for us. And after that, a uh, whole data packet transmission process finish. There are two points we need to pay, pay attention to here. The first one is that the descriptor, the descriptor is one of the is uh, of the uh, ring-like memory. When this side exits in the length of descriptor table, it will be overwritten from the beginning of the descriptor table. Due to this reason, buffer overflow will uh, not occur. The second one is that gigabit network car use TCP segment uh, offload technique to improve passing rate of network packet. Uh, due to its um, complica um, complicated logic, uh, there may exist uh, vulnerabilities in the source code of network car emulator, which is related to this technique.
and uh, we found 200 days by means of this fast framework while testing, testing the gigabit network car emulator of QMU and uh, VMware station. Uh, these two are in similar principle. Uh, we are ab able to control the kernel uh, component of guest machine operation system. Uh, hijacking of code flow is possible by setting several uh, variables of code. The second, second component is PCNI, network car emulator. Although the way that PCNI dealing, uh, deal, deal with descriptor are totally different from E1000 network car, but they are doing the similar things like dealing with data packing info then uh, send this info to bottom layer adapter from um, for uh, further steps. Internal process flow to uh, of, of PCNet show as this figure. By mean, means of writing pause, PCNet components capture the operation of writing control and uh, status register. Then it will get into the function we wrote for dealing with the data transfer. Then the component will separate, separately get into the process of sending and receiving data packet. During the whole process, uh, an interesting de detail is that adding a CRC after data packets. And we found one uh, vulnerability inside the code of Sina dealing with the received data packet. Uh, Tactors could cause a buffer flow where uh, constructing descriptor. And uh, what's exciting is that we could overflow the constructed data to function pointer. Pointers, and uh, this will make launching gas machine escape attack possible. And today, discuss about the virtualization system filing framework using by my team. And we will can continue to working on this uh, filing framework to make it more efficient and. Uh, Accurate. I hope my speech um, could bring you new some new thoughts and please uh, stay tuned for our more treatments in utilizing system security field. Thanks for patiently listening and uh, welcome to contact me through the bar email. Thank you. Thank you, Xinghao. Um, are there any questions? Yes. Hello, you're talking about abnormal uh, functions if you get the logging back from the client. Uh, how do you get it is uh, abnormal? Uh, can I speak slow? <laughs> uh, the client and uh, what? You, you get testing results? And you uh, show in the slides that you get abnormal f uh, results. How do you get the, that is an, an abnormal result? What is the difference because uh, between normal and abnormal? Normal and uh, what? An abnormal. I, abnormal. 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 Sorry. Abnormal. Abnormal. <laughs> uh, the, no, the normal uh, server and the abnormal server? The behavior of the client. Behavior. Oh, maybe, maybe you can send me an email I will, after the question. Other questions? Yeah, in the back.
Hello. Uh, I was curious to know how efficient it was to do some phasing on your VMs. Because like for instance, when you have a crash, you have to restart the snapshot or rerun the VM. So I was curious to know how fast it was. Uh, sorry. Uh, in here, I can hear, hear more, more info. Uh, so um, can, can you speak uh, another time? So I was asking um, to know how efficient it was to have a fuzzing framework on VM. Because like for instance, if you have a crash on your VM, you detect uh, abnormal behavior or whatever, and then you have to restore the snapshot or restart a VM for every piece of data you're feeding it. So how fast it is? How, how what? Because for, for <laughs> sorry. How long does it take to run the test? How long? How much time? How much time? Uh, mm, I, for different vulnerability, um, the time is uh, different, so I, I can't say how, how long. Uh, about the, the fussing logic. Uh, you started with a fuzzing logic at the base, and uh, how do you get more or a better fuzzing logic data? You understand? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you have a base fuzzing logic you started with. Fuzzing what? You told us about the, the you, you starting the fuzzer? Yeah. Uh, and you have to get in uh, a base data fuzzing files or base fuzz. data. Yeah. yeah. And the next run you do it, you get another fuzzing data better than the first one. How do you get that? Uh, maybe you can send an email. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, sorry. I told you more, more info. I speak in Chinese. Uh, 我复述一下就是刚才的问题, yeah. 一个就是一个normal行为和abnormal行为, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, into the uh, um, three uh, three kind three kind of the behavior. Uh, the first one is the uh, virtual uh, machine OS crash, or uh, the second one is the have weather crash, and the uh, third one uh, I call it I call it the invisible results. Uh, in, uh, in in second one in second one uh, behavior. Uh, Mm, usually, uh, there are some uh, serious vulnerabilities can uh, can make the hypervisor crash, and uh, mm, uh, in my in my test, I find the uh, UF and double free or uh, other serious vulnerabilities uh, in this behavior. And uh, for the third for the third behavior. Uh, uh, I find the info lacking, info lacking, uh, vulnerability. Okay. Okay. <coughs> uh, the, the second, uh, 你们的系统这个效率究竟是如何的? 你们比如说就25个漏洞,你们就是大约是前后经历了多久? Yeah, uh, from, yeah, from, uh, from last May, I, I, start, I started the platform work. Uh, and uh, um, to um, to um, this may uh, I we totally find uh, thirty thirty five um and uh, um, there are twenty twenty five rubies uh, that we uh, we have make make, it, make them public uh, the CVIDs um, CVIDs. Mm. Uh, 
就 data 发展，我们更关注的是那个数据的生成 ，data generation。呃，你们的数据生成策略的 data generation policy， how 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 is it？ 嗯，呃，的的的，他呃 ，OK， 呃、uh, ，we we use the、uh, um test case and template to um product product the um testing data and uh, uh change change the Change uh, change the template um, and uh, can uh, can product more different uh, testing data and uh, uh, we insert this uh, testing data into the um, kernel mo kernel module um, and when the system is running uh, the crash will happen. And we will find the vulnerabilities. Okay. Thank you. We'll start again in um, a little bit less than ten minutes, eleven forty-five. Thank you. <laughs>